this is a uh, business owner. After this scenario, we'll probably close it out. It's Sunday, so I know you guys got to get ready for your work week. I get it. So I won't take up too much of your time. But let me show you how important it is to manage your cash flow, no matter how much money you make. I will say this over and over again. It does not matter how much money you make. It's all about what you keep. Okay, so here's an example. Husband and wife, business owner, making $87,603.14 a month. And their cash flow per month is $21.26. What in the world are we dealing with here? This is a new type of problem. This is uh, ridiculous, right? Because they got, they got some crazy stuff going on. So can you imagine making that much money per month? That's not per year. Per month. Right? And then it just, and it all goes out that same month. <clears throat> That's insane. Their total debt, $347,000. 528. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the business side of things. I think that's just their business debt or it might be their personal debt. I forget. But um, I can see how quickly people can like, they're basically just living out of the business. They're probably not paying themselves too much. If they are, it's very little. Here's another example. This is another person that fell off. You know, they bought my service. Had a couple of phone calls together, tried to map out a plan, and you don't hear from them. So I'm like, hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm still here. I'm still 23, you know? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, you know? Just wanna let you guys know how accessible I am right now. It's like, it's ridiculous how accessible I make myself to people. You guys aren't taking advantage. There's some people are, some people are like killing it right now. There we go. So they have, so we do have a, a debt tool. You got a HELOC, 50K, 5.5%. That's a personal HELOC. And if I'm not mistaken, I think that whole thing is like maxed out. But the idea, what I was telling them to do um, is to simply start running all this money as much as they possibly could because they have a type of business that, you know, money comes in, but it, but it goes out faster than it comes in because they have to pay out, you know, all these employees and all the contracts. So they'll have invoices that are pending, they're waiting for money to come in to just pay the invoice. So they're not even giving me time to put money in the HELOC. So what I was telling them is like, hey, you might have to start paying people late, right? Because what happens in business is even the invoices that you send out to people as a business owner, you're sending out invoices to a business owner and it's due on Friday, but they don't pay you till Tuesday. They paid you, but you know, those invoices, you know, it's not like you're charging them a late fee if they don't pay on time. It's like they do a service, boom, you get paid. This happens to me, you know, I'll do a work, someone doesn't pay me till, you know, a week later or something like that, or even on my end, someone sends me an invoice, I don't look at it right away, or I don't see it on my email, and then I take care of it maybe the next day or two days. Well, for some people, that hurts if you're doing things like that. So I was letting them know, I was like, look, even though you got money coming in, it's coming out faster, what's happening is they have over $1,000 in overdraft fees. So they're operating a business we got money coming in, money coming out, right? In and out, 
it's in, it's out, it's in, it's out. But when it comes in, they'll have too much go out. So literally per month, they got over $1,000 in overdraft fees. And my recommendation was, look, how is it that we can take this 87K per month? It, it comes in daily for them, right? So money's coming in on a daily basis and it's also coming out on a daily basis. But I'm like, look, is there a way that we could take the payrolls, right? The paychecks that are consistent, the paychecks and then bills that consistently come out on certain days. So certain paychecks, bills, and then the money that you pay yourself. Is there a way that I could have all this money, this, this guaranteed stuff that we already know about, that's already coming out, get sent to the HELOC first, right? So it goes into the HELOC first, let it sit there, then it comes out to sit in that checking account to then pay these certain bills so that we could have more money sitting in the business checking account. So that we don't overdraft, man. Because if all I did was just create a system to, to prevent overdrafting, that's a thousand dollars extra per month in cash flow alone just by doing that just by seeing okay every single day where is money's coming out on what days am i going negative right so for them we have to see the the days that go negative right we need to track days that go negative we need to track all bills and expenses right we need to track that like seriously and check the days that go negative. Whatever available credit limit I have in the HELOC, I use that money first. I do believe they do have available credit in here. So what I'm saying is on those days that go negative, you pull it out of the HELOC. So you're literally going into more debt just to have money in the checking account to pay those bills that we need to take care of and then the money that does eventually come in, right? When it does come in, before you pay those people, before you pay those invoices and all those expenses, send it back to the HELOC real quick and then send it right back out into the checking account so that you avoid going negative. So that we can have $1,000 in cash flow that will stay in the HELOC, right? And that was a suggestion that I have for them. They've been off the radar. Not sure if they uh, took any action with that yet. I'm hoping that they did because just by accumulating that $1,000 in cash flow, well, then I can start tackling all their other crap that they have. You know, they got credit cards left and right, things like that. And that was another idea that I mentioned to them. I was like, hey, could we potentially get a 0% credit card? in addition to what I'm telling you there, to avoid overdrafting on the accounts, pay the, use the credit card first to pay some bills that can be paid with a credit card, and then pay yourself back. So let's see, any other questions? If not, it was a good one. The third one, that's just you know showing you, hey, doesn't matter how much money you make, it's all about what you keep right? And how you manage the money. Another thing I recommended for that couple was like, hey, what can we cut out? There's got to be some waste going on in the business. Like there's waste, whether it's like a service that you're paying for that you can pay a hell of a lot less for. Like maybe they have a security system in their physical because they have a brick and mortar business. Maybe there's a security system that they can switch to that's cheaper, same value. Maybe there's insurance that you can switch to, same value. You have to analyze all that, all those insurances and the protection stuff. 
Those companies are constantly competing for your business and they always have different offers that are going on. Another thing is merchant processing. Maybe they have so many fees when it comes to their merchant processing when they're because they probably have a register and they take cash payments for things. I uh, think they have a tire business, if I'm not mistaken. I think they sell tires and some other things. Um, so people coming in, maybe they can save 0.5% or 1% on merchant fees alone. And that could increase cash flow. So many ideas, right? So I want you guys to be thinking about that, especially for those that do not have a business yet and you're just doing personal, velocity banking, infinite banking, and you wanna start a business, you wanna be analyzing all the free stuff that you can get now. You don't have to get the A1 service when you first start out. You wanna work your way up to it, right? And, and avoid as much cost as possible so you can maximize cash and prepare that cash for the A1 service. So you say, okay, now I can pay premium. Now I can tip extra. Now I can, you know, throw money here and not even think about it because I have so much that I built up, you know. So that's my final spiel. Hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful evening, and God bless.